Leading on from the last video where you saw how to work out the mean from the other bits of information, you can also do the same with the standard deviation. So we're going to whiz through this quite quickly. Uh, Pierce is often late to class and the length of time he's late by is normally distributed. We're told the mean, we're told that 10% of the time he's less than one minute late and we're asked to work out the standard deviation. So that looks like this, we've got a normal distribution, the mean is 2.7. 10% of the time he's less than one minute late. So here's the one minute. Uh, we need to decide which side of that line to shade in. We're going less than one minute. So we're shading in that, ha that side and that's 10%, which is 0 0.1. Now we need to work out the equivalent values on the Z curve so that we can put them into the equation and work out the missing information. So on our Z curve, it will look like this. We have a mean of zero a standard deviation of 1, and we want to know what value gives us an area of 0.1 on the Z curve. So do your regular things on your graphics calculator. You're going to do it in inverse normal mode. We've got a left tail. The area is 0.1. Sigma is 1. Mu is 0. And if you put all that information into the calculator, it gives you that Z value of minus 1.28155. So that value there will be that minus 1.28. It's equivalent to where the 1 is on our original distribution curve. So we put those values into our equation. So the Z is minus 1.28155. The X is that 1. The mean, 2.7. And sigma is what we're working out. So now we're going to rearrange that equation by swapping over that sigma and the minus 1.28155. And we get the answer like this. So our standard deviation is 1.327 minutes. Now you can actually use your graphics calculator to solve that final equation. I'm going to put a video up uh, showing you how to actually use your calculator for that if you're struggling with the algebra part of rearranging the equations. Okay, what about if you're asked to find the mean and the standard deviation, both at the same time? So, for example, we've got a normal distribution curve. We're told that um, the lowest 10% sits below 281. The highest 5% sits above 325. And we want to find the mean and the standard deviation. Now, of course, you'll be given that information in some kind of worded question, but just for being able to do this quickly in the video, I've just given you the basic numbers. So the first thing is to go to our Z curve and figure out what values match that 281 and 325. So the same process that you just did before of doing inverse normal will take the left-hand tail for the 281. On the Z curve, that'll be minus 1.282. For the 325, we've got a right tail at 5%, so that's 1.645. And remember, z equals x minus mu over sigma, so we can set up our first equation with the minus 1.282 like this. That's going to be equal to the x value, 281, minus mu over sigma. Then you can rearrange that so that we have the mu and the sigma um, in a line like this and that's important uh, to re rearrange that into that form so you've got something sigma plus something mu equals a number so you can then use your graphics calculator to solve that in a second but our, our second equation is for the 1.645 now the x value for that was 325 minus mu over sigma rearrange this one and we've got our second equation um, in that form of something sigma plus something mu equals something. Now we're going to put that into our graphics calculator using the equation solver for simultaneous equations. We've got two equations in two unknowns and you enter the coefficients um, of sigma and mu and what the final number is, what it equals to on the right hand side and solve that. I'm going to give you a video on this one and how to use the graphics calculator to solve these equations if you can't remember it from last year. But if you put in those values you get sigma is 15.03 and mu is 300 point, uh, sorry, 300.3. So that's the standard deviation is 15 and the mean is 300.